The Maruti Ertiga based Toyota Rumian has finally been launched in India with a starting price of Rs 10.29 lakh for the base level entry petrol manual variant all the way to Rs 13.68 lakh for the top of the line V automatic. Now if you are in the market for a 7 seater MPV in this price category, the Ertiga is the obvious choice and now of course you have the Rumian. But while doing the research for the story, we also discovered that a lot of our users were uh, making comparisons to the Toyota Innova Hi-Cross and the Toyota Innova Crysta. So is this a mini Innova Hi-Cross or a mini Crysta? Stay with us as we answer all your questions and if you stick around till the end of the video, you'll also get Carvalier's recommendation on which variant to pick. Now let's begin with price, variant and features of the Toyota Rumian. There are three trim levels across five color options. Rustic Brown, Iconic Grey, Spunky Blue, Cafe White and Enticing Silver. The petrol engine can be had with either one of two transmission options. Toyota is even offering CNG power but only in the entry level variant. What's more, bookings have opened and the amount has been set at Rs 11,000 with the first buyers getting deliveries on the 8th of September. Now let's take a closer look at the details of the Toyota Rumian. The fully loaded Toyota Rumian V variants get features like a 7-inch touchscreen infotainment system with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Toyota connected car technology and an auto function for the projector headlamps. On the safety front, all versions of the car get dual front airbags, ABS with EBD and brake assist, ISO fixed child seat mounting points and seat belt pre-tensioners. At the time of shooting this video, Toyota had not announced a global NCAP or Bharat NCAP rating for the Rumian. Our recommendation in terms of variants, if you want the manual transmission, then go for the G variant as it has most of the features of the V variant but is cheaper by Rs 73,000. If it's the two pedal option that you're going for, then we recommend you go for the fully loaded V automatic. With pricing out of the way, we now get into the finer details of the Toyota Rumian. Yes, it is a rebadge version of the Maruti Ertiga and exists because of a cross-badging and platform sharing deal between the two manufacturers. On the outside, the grille is new, the wheels are new and you get some extra chrome on the bumpers. The cabin is exactly the same as the Ertiga, right down to the layout, colour schemes and dimensions. The big change is of course the Toyota badges everywhere. However, since this is primarily a Maruti Suzuki product, it's Hamamatsu that has the advantage over Toyota City. In fact, as you go up the variant list, there's a Rs 50,000 to Rs 60,000 difference between the equivalent Ertiga and Rumian variants. And in terms of CNG, Maruti Suzuki has a mid-spec CNG and a top-spec CNG while Toyota only gets an entry-level version for its CNG variant. There's not a lot in favour of choosing the Toyota Rumian over the Maruti Ertiga for the additional price. But the Rumian does have an ace up its sleeve. With the Toyota Rumian, you get a mini Innova High Cross design, Toyota's service network and a 3 years 1 lakh kilometer warranty. That can be expanded to 5 years and 2.2 lakh kilometers for an additional price. In contrast, Maruti offers with the Ertiga a 2 year 40,000 kilometer warranty as standard and a 5 years 1 lakh kilometer warranty when you go for an extended package. While working on the script, we discovered that a lot of our users were looking for the Toyota Rumian in comparison to the Toyota Innova High Cross and of course the Toyota Crysta. This is understandable given that it's an MPV, that it's a 7 seat vehicle and of course it has the Toyota badging. But let's be clear about one thing, apart from the brand and seating capacity, the Rumian is a smaller vehicle, has smaller engine and is almost 6 lakhs cheaper and that's when you look at the entry level versions of the Innova Crysta and the Innova High Cross. The pricing gulf between the Rumian and its larger Innova siblings may be huge but it's that brand association that's going to help it sell. After all, it has three rows of seating, the Toyota badge, Toyota sales and service network and of course a waiting period that's definitely less than 24 months. The Toyota Rumian is being offered with the same engine option as the Maruti Ertiga, which in this case is a 1.5 litre K-series petrol engine producing 102 bhp and 137 nm of torque. In CNG guys, this engine produces 87 bhp and 121 nm of torque. 
A 5 speed manual is standard across the range, while you get a 6 speed torque converter automatic in the entry level S version and the top spec V version. The Toyota Rumion manual transmission has a mileage of 20.51 kmpl, while the Rumion automatic has a mileage of 20.11 kmpl. The Rumion CNG has a mileage of 26.11 km per kg. The figures are exactly the same as the Ertiga except for the automatic variants, where the Maruti returns a slightly better 20.30 kmpl. Before we wrap up our analysis of the Toyota Rumion, here's a little reminder, are you enjoying the content on our channel? Then do hit those like, share and subscribe buttons and also that bell icon to be notified the instant we put out a new video. The Rumian's pricing actually puts it quite close to the Kia Karens, but the Kia Karens has an advantage up its sleeve in the form of a recently launched 1.5 liter turbocharged petrol engine. We've tested out this engine and done a video. If you're in the market for something new that has seven seater capacity, you can also check out the upcoming Citroen C3 Aircross that we have driven. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.